Today, county supervisors will vote on a plan aimed at making it easier to operate, to open and operate child care facilities here in San Diego. Joining us now to discuss this proposal is County Chairwoman Nora Vargas and also Vice Chair Tara Lawson Reamer. Good morning to both of you and Good thank morning. you for being here. Uh, Tara, I'm going to start with you. Reading here, 77% of parents struggle to find caregivers for their children. That is a huge yeah. number. A huge number. How is this program going to help? Yeah, it's a massive challenge that so many parents in our region face. You know, I know when I was looking for childcare, I actually only found a place uh, for Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and I'm thinking, what am I supposed to do Monday, yeah. Wednesday, and Friday? And it took another almost six months to found, find a spot for my two year old. So um, this is a, a struggle parents are in dealing with across our region. And uh, one of the things I'm really excited about um, the proposal we're bringing is that we're gonna be ex investing ex in expanding our workforce and expanding the capacity of childcare facilities. So that in, especially in neighborhoods that don't really have very many facilities, we're gonna help childcare providers build out those facilities, train and hire um, amazing providers to take care of our kiddos and really try to help uh, expand the capacity for parents uh, region wide. This has been such an important topic for parents for so many years. It's quite frankly surprising. It's taken so long to, to, get, to get some sort of plan together to help people. Uh, Nora, talk to me because in, in this proposal that I have here from the county, it says that this is a crisis, right, mm -hmm. for a lot of parents. Uh, how will you make it easier, though, to operate and to open these places? You know, I think that at the county, we've been committed, and Vice Chair Lawson Weimer and I uh, believe that this is one of our top, this is, has to be one of our top priorities. We created a blueprint for child care, yeah. and one of the things that we do, and we heard loud and clear from some of our community folks, like the Chicano Federation, MAC Project, a lot of these folks who are training people, Southwestern College, giving them certificates, is that we need the infrastructure, we need the training, and we need to be making sure that people have the tools that they need to be able to um, open up these uh, child care uh, offices across the county so that our um, kids can be taken care of. So it's really, really exciting to be doing this tomorrow. Yeah. I, I want to talk a little bit, if we can, and I know that some families that are probably watching right now will agree, the cost of finding a safe and good place mm -hmm. to watch your children at this young age is out of control. I mean, it costs... Uh, it can cost more than it does to send your, your kids to, to college, even college mm -hmm. to college. So how, for a lot of families, and I, I even, I'm one of those, I need somebody to watch my kids so that I can come to work every day. For a lot of families, they have to make that decision is does it make sense to be able to do that? So how do you balance all of this? Uh, Tara, I'll come back over to you. How do you balance the costs of this? So first of all, I want to say this is a crisis uh, that we face nationwide and we're going to do everything we can um, in our county. But make no mistake, you know, we can't solve this alone. You know, we absolutely need partnership at the state and federal level because uh, the, these costs are, are just way too high. Um, and I do appreciate uh, some of our employers who really stepped up uh, to try to, to plug this gap and to help provide child care. Because fundamentally, this is not a children's issue. This is definitely not a women's issue. Uh, this is a family issue this is an economic issue um, the being able to have quality affordable accessible child care is absolutely fundamental for businesses to be able to thrive to hire good workers uh, for our economy to grow uh, for us to have good jobs um, and and growing um, and growing businesses in San Diego County and across our country and uh, this is an issue that so many women um, have been grappling with silently and I think the COVID pandemic made it us front and center for a lot of people who had been sweeping it under the rug uh, when suddenly you had uh, a lot of people who hadn't been um, forced to be the the person who had to show up when your kiddo was sick or figure out how to you know simultaneously be at work and and take care of um, a kid who uh, can't go to school that day or go to preschool um, and so now I think there's more attention on this issue and uh, more focus and I'm really glad that we're able at the county to I think do something really smart which is take some of this federal money and invest in longer term solutions for our region by uh, training our workforce and expanding capacity uh, but I, I want to make sure that that uh, people you know hear me loud and clear that this is an issue that we need partnership with but in the state and federal level um, because it's an economic issue and, and we're not going to be able to solve it by ourselves. Uh, we can do our part um, but so much more needs to be done because the costs are 
astronomical and people are yeah. drowning. They, they really are. Nora, the proposal includes changes also for county workers. Mm -hmm. uh, that's also important. Tell us how that's going to work. Absolutely. You know, we want to walk the walk, as they say, right? And we can only, we have to do our part to do the external piece, but we also have to take care of our own. We have 20,000 employees at the county of San Diego. Many of them are parents. And one of the things that we hear from them loud and clear is that sometimes when they have an emergency, how are they gonna take care of their kids? So this initiative allows for three days of emergency care, which I think is fantastic because it allows folks in difficult situations not to have to worry about taking vacation time or sick time. They can actually three take- Three days of these. emergency care, what does that mean? So basically, if you have an, you know, an emergency, okay. you, you have three uh, days that you have banked and you can use them uh, in case your baby got sick that day okay. or you know, you had to go pick him up from school, whatever it is. Um, and we know that that happens for more happens than three all days the a time. year, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. But that way you don't have to use your sick time or any other, you know, your vacation time. You can actually just focus on that. And I think it's going to really help um, our, our teams and uh, we want them to know that we value them and this is really important for them. But before for I us. let both of you go, I wanted because I was taken by the fact that you want to make this easier to open and operate to which I said, well, it's hard to get people to get to do the job. And then it also says in your number one in the proposal, uh, a workforce in childcare that is well trained, yes. supported. That doesn't happen easily overnight. No. How do you plan but to get have, all these people? We have really good partners. I mean, there's organizations like Southwestern College, like I said, Chicano Federation. Some of these organizations, they already have the tools. All they need is the opportunity, the resources, getting the information out. And I think what's really important about this initiative, it's going to be culturally competent, right? So you have people from our communities getting trained, they become entrepreneurs themselves. And so we're building equity in our community. So it's taking care of children, people have their own small businesses, and we're also making sure that our county teams are taken care of. And so really excited to be partnering yeah. with Vice Chair on this. And uh, competitive wage of people taking care of our kids, also very important. Yeah, uh, Nora Vargas and Tara lawson Reamer, we thank you both thank for you. joining us this morning. You're Appreciate welcome. the time. Thank you. Thank you.